to share with you the project that I made for Fairfield's 80th birthday and it is this knot pillow and I'm going to show you how to tie this um, and this I did with um, the fabric tubing that I made in my post but I'm going to show you how to tie it with this bungee cord because it's a lot easier to see and get in close to see what I'm doing. So you're going to take your piece and wrap it around twice so you're back where you started okay and then you're going to take that and push it together like this all right and then you're going to take your cording and go around that twice so one and two so if you get back to the side where you doubled up on that all right now you have these loops or these butterfly type wings out here and you're going to go into those. So you're going to go in here, come around the back, and into this side over here. All right, and so you're going to do that two times, and then you're done, okay? So there's my first one, and then here is my second one. And I know it looks like a jumbled mess, at the moment but if you start tightening things down and start pulling on the ends okay you'll see that it starts to tighten up and what you're looking for here is two strands on each side okay so here I have one because I still have the end of my tail to go in there so then what you're gonna do is just take this and start working and manipulating these strands until you get a nice tight knot. So you just follow them around. It takes a little bit of time to do so. And of course, you're working on a larger project with the fabric tubing that you created. So here I am getting to an end where I can tighten that down. So when you get to this point and you're dealing with the fabric tubes, you're going to take your last one and tuck it in to your pillow. You're going to have more room than what I have here. You're going to tuck it in and hide the end inside. Now you don't even have to sew this piece close because you're going to hide it inside that ball shape. Okay, and then the same with the other. You're just going to take that and tuck it down inside. So if I were to manipulate this to where I have enough room, I would go through here. And of course with the fabric, it's much more forgiving and flexible than this cord. But there you can see... I have two strands on each side and then like this where I have the crossover with the cording you just want to hide those underneath and you just keep manipulating your strands until you get it the way that you want it to look okay so I hope that was helpful for how to tie the knot for your pillow